What's going on guys? Crypto Lark here. Today we're going to be doing our Friday news roundup. Today we're talking about Ripple, Cardano, Cobinhood, Komodo, and Tron. Timestamps down below. Make sure you stick around till the end of the video where I let you know what next week's community coin vote choices are going to be and of course announcing what next week's giveaway will be. Before we get into all of that, quick shout out as always to everyone who has been hitting that like button and of course everybody who has been subscribing to the channel. If you're not subscribed yet, make sure you hit that button down below to stay up to date with all of the latest in the crypto space. This is of course not professional financial advice guys, this is just a dude talking about cryptocurrencies on the internet. Let's get into it. Now the first exciting story of the day, I'm home! Woo! I mention that because we will be going back to our regularly scheduled Crypto Lark programming. So if you want to come along to the live chats, we'll be doing our live chat Monday at 4 o'clock, Friday at 12. Hope to see you there next week for live chats. Those are, of course, local New Zealand times. Two very important stories that I thought were worth covering that are I don't normally cover in my altcoin news videos of the week. The first one is that debit card providers have had the services suspended by Visa. Now look, this affects a lot of different providers. I immediately start thinking of projects like 10X, Monaco. They both, of course, had Visa-based cards. I'm not surprised to see Visa wanting to cut out the competition because at the end of the day, cryptocurrencies are competition to companies like Visa. Nevertheless, it is a disappointing turn of events. Over in South Korea, we have seen a lot of drama unfold in the past day. The end result is this though, there will be no cryptocurrency trading ban, although there will be no more anonymous trading. So what that means is that if you live in South Korea and you want to trade cryptocurrencies, you will have to upload your photo ID, proof of address, this kind of stuff. Probably partially for tax services, probably partially for anti-money laundering services, that's the way it's going to be. Not too bad news, but for the rest of us who live outside of South Korea, it was a great chance to buy the dip, guys. We're always saying it, buy the dip. We had a great chance yesterday on a lot of coins. A lot of things went down a lot. We're seeing a lot of green come back into the market today. So things are going to be returning to normal to an extent until the next geopolitical event happens and uh, knocks the market back a little bit. On to our first coin story of the day. Ripple and MoneyGram are partnering up. This is huge news, particularly for both of them. <laughs> MoneyGram, of course, is one of the world's biggest remittance services. Ripple, of course, is going to just drastically lower the transaction fees for sending these cross-border payments. This is massive news for Ripple. As a Ripple investor, this must make anyone out there who is into Ripple very, very excited. On a bit more of a lighthearted note for Ripple, they did a mean tweets video where people from Ripple read out mean tweets that have been sent to them. It's quite entertaining. You should go, go and have a watch of it. Okay, moving on to Cardano. Now, both the Bittrex and the Binance wallets for Cardano have been having problems recently. The Bittrex one did get fixed after a little bit of uh, back and forth. Hopefully the Binance one will be enabled very soon. Of course, they have been working on getting that fixed so that you can withdraw your funds off of Binance. Because, of course, you never want to keep a lot of money on an exchange, guys. That is an absolute truth in this game. Charles Hoskinson has posted this. This is a response to Dan Larimer's peer review post. Now look, Dan and Charles used to work together a long time ago on BitShares. Now, of course, Dan's criticizing Cardano. They had someone come out and say, hey, look, here's the facts. You didn't quite get it right, Dan. A bit of drama amongst uh, all of the uh, smart contract platforms. Of course, we'll see, uh, you know, EOS and Ethereum and Cardano. 
squabbling a little bit, but it's just on the fight to the top, guys. Nevertheless, it is an interesting read if you want to go over and have a read through that. Cardano roadmap update. We've seen some very exciting things get added on here. Now, of course, we've got some great progress updates, but I wanted to point out some exciting things that have come up as new. Now, look, it's not just all the different events they're doing across East Asia. That's very exciting as well. Ledger wallet integration is coming. Not here yet, but it's coming. Debit cards coming. That'll be exciting. I hope they're not using Visa. Cardano software audit, nice. That just says again that Cardano is serious about having the best code possible, the most robust product possible. That is very cool stuff. Moving on to Cobenhood. Cobenhood is gonna be listing a lot of exciting coins. Ethos, EOS, Golem, Naga, Omisego, Qtum, Qtum, Sophia TX, 10X, Tron. So many exciting ones. INS ecosystem coming later in the month and even Rayblox. Of course, the exact date of that one is to be determined because it is not an ERC20 token. So we'll have to wait a little while and see on that. Now, importantly, the next vote is coming up to get coins listed over on Cobenhood. So if you use Coben and you have 30 Cob sitting in your account, you're eligible to vote. Some really exciting projects, Digibyte, Dragoncoin, Manitha, Navcoin, Skycoin. Get over there and make sure you vote. It is so important to get your project listed on as many exchanges as possible. So if you are a big believer in those communities, make sure you get over there and get involved, guys. This was a fun post about Coben Hood, Richard Sherman. Plays in the NFL. He is a bit injured at the moment. As you can see, he's got his crutches down here on the floor. But while he's at home, laid up in his chair, he's on Coben Hood. He's learning about cryptocurrencies. I think this is great because a lot of people who might not know about cryptocurrencies probably follow this dude on Twitter. That's great. Get the word out. Spread the word, man. That's absolutely awesome, of course. Very exciting times over at Komodo. Cross-chain atomic swap. Boom. Very, very exciting. They have done an Ethereum to Komodo cross-chain atomic swap. That's massive stuff. Komodo has been on the bleeding edge of a lot of this stuff for a long time even though they fly under the radar. That is really, really cool. I'm excited to see that and I'm excited to see where that can go. If they can make this very accessible, if they can integrate this into their Agama wallet and make their Agama wallet work, that's a different story, then that's huge. If they can get this working as a regular feature on barter decks, then this opens up the door for cross-chain atomic swaps, not just to Ethereum, but to all Ethereum-based tokens. That's big, really big, under the radar news, but I thought you guys should know. Okay, next up on Komodo news, the Agama wallet has integrated a massive amount of coins, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, Dash, Digibyte, and others. That, of course, is still in the experimental stage, but it is coming. The Monet's ICO. Now they had to postpone this because of problems with the wallets over at Komodo. Problem with uh, cutting edge technology. It doesn't always work the way you want it to, but they are working very hard to get this back up, to get it running and to make it come out. So if you did want to get involved in the Monet's ICO, still coming, hold your horses. It'll be back. Moving on to Tron. I like this post that Justin Sun put out. This was that any good crypto project needs a little bit of drama, needs a little bit of FUD. This, of course, is him responding to a quote from Charlie Lee. If you can't stand the heat, don't get in the kitchen. Right now, Tron stand in the heat and they're surviving. So we'll see what comes of it. 
Tron has partnered with Bao Feng. You may be thinking to yourself, Lark, what the heck is Bao Feng? Well, it's like the Netflix of China. Huge tech company, massive profits, massive amount of subscribers, really cool stuff because obviously Tron is putting itself in the position where it's going to be linked to all of these giant tech projects across China. They're going to be the gateway. Tron has a lot of potential moving forward because of that. We should get Tron into space. Very cryptic message here from Justin's son. I'm wondering, and this is not just a to the moon kind of post. People like Justin don't do, hey, we're going to the moon kind of posts, unless he's literally meaning, yo, we're, we're going up to the moon. We're putting satellites in space. Qtum is doing it. I wonder if Tron is going to hop on the satellite and also put satellites into space, maybe with the same company that Qtum is using, maybe not. This is a bit of speculation here for you guys, but that would be pretty cool to see them actually setting up that network in space because it lets them get past all the stuff that you find terrestrially, the government barriers and shut down the networks and stuff. When it's up there, can't shut it down unless you shoot the satellites out of the sky. That's a different story, guys. <clears throat> okay. And of course, the team over at Tron is ever expanding. They've got Lucian Chen, former developer over at Alibaba. So great to see, of course, more fantastic minds being added into the company. Okay. Next week, our community coin. We've got four choices up. Deep Onion, Modem, Sophia TX, and Wabi. I'll have posts for this down below. If you want to see any of these particular coins as the community coin next week, get over here and retweet it. Tell your communities about it. Get them to come over and retweet it. The one with the most retweets will be the one that we cover next week. I'll be looking at that on Monday, my time to decide which one has won, and then we'll be making a video about that. And finally, it is time for our giveaway of the week. This week, it is 50 ethos. Wow. This in of itself is a lesson in holding things. You know, back when I got this ethos to give to you guys, it was like a buck 75 or something. Now, of course, ethos is up around the nine to $10 mark most days. So it's a fantastic prize. Let's see who's gonna get it. My first 50 ethos, why thank you. You're very welcome, Crypto Cash. That'll be coming your way very shortly. Next week, we're giving away 555 Tron. Good number. If you want to be in to win that, pop your address in down below. Long live the blockchain and peace out till next time.